All right, guys, how's it going? I was just uh, recording a video and I realized I didn't even hit record. Isn't that wonderful? So now I got to start all over again. I just love it when that happens. All right, I was going to do a live stream. However, I'm having problems with my software. It's been ages since I've uh, done a live stream, so I'm like a noob on that now. So you'll have to forgive me. All right, so let's 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 get into this and break this on down. Big thumbs down for me on this small update to Total War Empire. All right, so let's let's break this down. We're just going to dive into this, guys. This small update to Empire Total War that's going to have a huge impact. And this is also for Napoleon Total War as well, and God knows what other legacy titles in their catalog. All right, so let's go into this. Greetings, commanders. Oh, they're trying to, they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to, they're trying, aren't they? They are trying, trying to make us feel good about ourselves. All right, here we go. We pushed out a small update to Total War Empire, which addresses crashes with 12th gen Intel CPUs while also removing integrated chat from the game. Read for full, read on for full details. Due to difficulty supporting and moderated dated chat systems in the current online environment, we've taken steps to remove the integrated chat from Total War Empire and other legacy titles in our catalog. We are, however, continuing to investigate ways to properly implement and support chat in our future projects. And we'll keep you updated on any changes or developments as we make or develops at developments as we make, make them or whatever. I don't know. They can't even do their own grammar. Or I can't one of the two. In the meantime, we encourage you to make use of the official total war discord. Whoo boy. That official total war discord server as a free chat a voice option or to use one of the many third-party programs available to communicate with your teammates. In addition to this change, we've updated the game to better use modern architecture, which should result in notable performance improvements in Total War Empire. We've also added support and fixed crash seen in with the 12th generation Intel CPUs. All right. So a lot of uh, lots in there with a lot of hidden meanings. A lot of, uh, a lot of, um, a lot of platitudes or I don't know, um, a lot of blandness, a lot of things can be taken from this in a lot of ways. A lot of speculation can be taken from this. And that's sadly where we are with CA as they are not going to tell you what they're doing and why they're doing it. Cause clearly they're not telling you why, uh, they're, they do say that they, I mean, okay, first of all, let's, let's go into this. So first things first, they've addressed a crash with 12th gen Intel CPUs, right? That was happening with Napoleon, as far as I'm aware, not with empire and not with any other legacy games. I've never heard of it with the Empire. So why touch Empire and why touch the other games and not just Napoleon? Why take the opportunity when you're doing this patch to remove the chat systems that are in the lobbies of the battles? Now, this isn't going to affect campaign players, but this is going to have just tremendous impact on the online multiplayer communities. I can't, I can't even begin to tell you the impact, but I will, I will begin to tell you, just give me a minute. Let's, let's get to it. All right. So this to me screams of deception. They, they took the opportunity because they did this patch to do something else they wanted to do. And they give the reason why is because they were having difficulties supporting and moderating, moder moderating. I wanted to make sure it wasn't modern. It was moderating is 
actually what I thought, moderating dated chat systems in our current online environment. Does that make sense to you guys? It sure as hell doesn't make sense to me. What difficulties will CA have in supporting and moderating the chat system in the lobbies of the online multiplayer battles is my question. What difficulties would there be? Because when the battle happens and you're playing another player in multiplayer, you can chat with that person and say, Hey, how you doing? What's up? These are the rules of this match. You can bring two light infantry and you know, the rest is free, whatever have you, no artillery, two artillery max. All these things were rules that people had to balance the game, to make it on a level playing field for players. And that's gone. You cannot communicate with somebody when they come in the lobby now in multiplayer. Now it's just your two zombies staring at each other. And I, I mentioned this in, in my chat uh, that I have. And I'm, I'm going to go to that here in just a second. Let me, let me not get ahead of myself because I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm a little upset. And... Uh, there, let me just go into this. We are, however, continuing to investigate ways to properly implement and support chat in our future projects, and we'll continue to, and we'll keep you updated on any changes and developments we make. I highly doubt that. That's not going to happen. What the updates and when they're going to tell you is when they do it. They're not going to update you on any changes based on what, David, Mister. Faramir's Rangers, based on what? And I'm going to tell you based on what? Based on previous experience with CA. Based on previous experience with CA, they have not given us information to let us know what's happening, why they're doing things, what they're doing with games to help update them i mean just look at what happened with three kingdoms out of nowhere they announced that they were done with the game the same thing that happened with empire oh yeah guys we're done peace out mofos we're out of here you're on your own now we're on to bigger and better and brighter things you guys paid your money ha 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 we're out of here that's what happened that's what continues to happen. They don't communicate with us until they tell us, oh, we're doing something else. Just so you know, we thought you should know. But there's never a why. There's nothing in that. And CA, if you're listening, which I doubt you will, but if you are, to be a successful business, you have to build trust with your customers. And you don't build trust with your customers with terrible communication that forces your customer base to speculate on what your motives are. Because we have no idea. The only thing we can base it on is previous experiences. And the previous experiences are not good. Look at Empire. An unfinished game. Never modernized. And, and I'm telling you, the update here that I've seen, what I've played with, is it has not modernized it. It has not done anything that I can see. If CA, I would love you to respond. What have you done to the game? You certainly didn't put that in here, what you did, how you changed the game. Where is that? Nope. I only see three super teeny paragraphs and one medium-sized paragraph in this official notice nothing else nothing explaining all the changes that were made the full details read on for full details we're waiting i've read on and i don't see the full details yet my friend i've been reading 
I've, I've, I've been scrolling down the page looking for more and it's uh, other things like where the hell are the, where's the rest of it? Is, is it here somewhere? What the heck is going on here? Where's the rest? This can't be all of it. It says full details. Where's the full details? Cause I sure don't see it. What, why would they be doing this? Is this okay? Here's some speculation. Are they doing this? To push people off of chat from Steam to push us onto Total War, their official Total War Discord? Is there something else going on here that's going to be happening? Are they trying to kill the online multiplayer communities? Is that what it is? Do they have something to gain there? What's the gain? Because CA always seems to want to do things that have a gain in their interests. They're not worried about taking care of their customers. Again, we could base that on experience. We certainly can see how they treat the community at large. I mean, look at what they did to uh, um, Prince of Macedon. They roll out Rome Remastered and the biggest YouTuber that helped push the uh, Total War onto YouTube and his stick is total, Rome Total War. That is his stick. That's what he does the most. And what did they do to Prince of Macedon? They kicked him out of their little buddy system. Never communicated to him and, and uh, treat him like crap. Let's be frank. It's insulting that they would not involve him. They could have had a huge moment. This could have been special. So why did they have such a poor launch with Rome Remastered? Look at how they treated the community to build excitement for their new game, their remaster of Rome, which should have been huge. So what are we, are we supposed to sit here and be excited about an empire too? We're supposed to be excited about all these things. I'm certainly not. Some of you still might be. I know that there are other people that are. I'll show you that later. But to me, there is something else going on here. There is definitely something else going on here. Don't be stupid. Don't think there isn't. And don't be, oh my God, thank you. You updated a game. What, what did they do to the game? What did they do to the game? I, I don't see any changes except for the chat being gone. Now let's go into the chat. So this is going to destroy the Total War um, online community. All right. So let's let's go into that. Because I played one. Um, uh, oh, see here. All right. So I have several group chats. Uh, one I have and one uh, uh, another friend has. And, um, uh, to me, it's just crazy because we're supposed to sit here and only be able to communicate with friends. But how do you communicate when a, a person you don't know comes into an online multiplayer lobby, whether it's a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 4v4, how are we supposed to communicate with them? The rules. So I guess now when you when you start a battle you have to put the rules in the in the title of the game. But how can they ask questions if they have questions? This is going to cause problems, guys. How how do you increase your community? I have 81 members in this community I have here. Uh, he has 86 in his. And I, and I haven't been active in a while. 
So, I haven't been as active in multiplayer, but silence is power, but this is taking it a little far, I would think. So, pretty crazy. It's pretty darn crazy. Um, yeah, so, they want to moderate our conversations in the lobby. I was putting that in here. But why? Why would they need to moderate a conversation in a battle that goes away and has it's never there anymore after the battle? It's gone. So, but we can go here on the Steam forum and yet people can still communicate here. And yeah, sure, I guess CA can moderate this. Hell of a crappy job they do there. Because they barely ever say anything on there. Uh, what? I'm just... Well, I don't know. I think it's I think it's uh, a bunch of crap. Um, I there was a uh, a, str a stream. There was a post here about this, and I think they killed it. Because I don't see it anymore. It was about this update. Let me let me just double check. So I guess CA deleted the the thread. Oh, here's Matt Baker, one of my friends. Matt Baker says, and he's a great multiplayer play person. End of an error, as the patch note describes, an in-game chat has been removed. The days of teaming up with the last-minute tactics and the range and how the hell do I use team chat and hi all any rules are gone for good. And this is truly sad for someone who spent a lot of hours in multiplayer. This probably doesn't mean much to many of the players who are around these days. And actually 99% of those who care, who could care wouldn't even read this, but, even if one of them finds this message, you can press F to pay respect. I'm going to give him a steam award because that's definitely a hot take. Because, man, this is, this is ridiculous. I mean, the impact that this is going to have. Let me see what they're saying. Can ways of saying can just set game to update upon launch only and add Napoleon EXE as a non-Steam game to Steam library. What the hell is he talking about? If you have n not updated yet, obviously, well, I don't know what he's talking about. I'm, I don't, I'm too tired to care. Um, yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. I, I'm sorry. This is just ridiculous. People. This, this is. Shamed into releasing the update. They swore they would never release. Definitely. Well, so what I put is something else is going on here. Why are they pushing people to their discord? Making a move off steam. Could be happening. Don't know what is what it is, but it's definitely not in our interest, and it certainly isn't. All right. Um, yeah, that this uh, 
Okay, so here we go. 12 Gen Fix. This is good news. So much, well now, so much for the no longer supports 12 Gen conspiracy nonsense that was floating around. This is good news. Although a bit slow and coming, still better late than never. Napoleon Total War fans will be jumping for joy over this. I bet they're not, brother. We can scoot on over there and see what the Napoleon Total War guys think. I'm sure it's not pleasant. Because, like I said, Napoleon Total War is a multiplayer community. This is going to be devastating for that community. I'm... I'm Dusty says, I'm very curious to see what a certain individual who lurks around this forum has to say about it. I know he's talking about, he's talking about uh, a very old player. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. One of his uh, patriarchs is the one that did the other post there. His uh, brother at arms was the guy that posted the last post. Not Matt Baker, but the other one. Uh so, so Eddie G says, simple to fix. Don't allow AI movement. If you do, don't trade with the... Oh, because he's he's talking to this guy. All right. So anyways. 12th Gen fixed Napoleon, for Napoleon Total War. Empire works well with 12th Gen. I am planning to purchase a new computer. That's why I'm asking. Uh, they should have added a campaign. Uh, I don't know what the hell this guy is talking about. This isn't it. There was another post. I think they took it down though. Because it's not here. Because people are stupid. They think they're, that they're going to add co-op now because of this. They're not. Wake up. This is not for our benefit. They're not going to do anything for our benefit here, guys. This is not... For our benefit. This is for their benefit. This is for them. They've got something going on, but they're not telling us. I mean, this is uh, not good. They deleted that. So that thread has been deleted that was on here. They didn't like what people said. I I know because uh, there was uh, one of my friends made a post on there and I gave him a Steam Award. Sad. So they're at work deleting and moderating the that chat. So I guess they want to play Big Brother and, and moderate everything we say in, uh, in their game. Uh which, as far as I'm aware, um, like I said, in a, in a game lobby, it's not something that lasts. The, those messages don't last long. After the, game, after the battle's over, they're gone. So it's not something anybody can just go back and read. It's only the people that were in the battle can see it. This is, this is just really stupid, guys. I'm just uh, blown away. You, you can't even comment on this. They've taken off the comments on it. Like I said, whoops. I, uh, I disliked it. Because they don't want us discussing it. That's their moderation. You can't talk about what we're doing unless... You're just going to our Discord server and you can I'm sure they're deleting all the shit off of there. But anyways, let's let's go over to let's just shimmy on over to Napoleon here. And uh see what's happening in the world of Napoleon's community hub. Oh shit. It's gone, guys. It must not have been positive. That's gone. Discussions. Let's see what's on. Oh! This must be... Wow. That's... Something's wrong here, guys. 
Let me. Well, no wonder. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Forgot. Steam update. So. Yeah, here's another one of my friends. Uh, Steam is down for the moment for the update. I forgot it's Tuesday. But due to difficulties, supporting a moderate, this is their thing. Uh, he's like, so stupid. Yeah, and and it's it's just utterly ridiculous. Okay, so I, I was playing a multiplayer match. It's just odd. You can't communicate with anybody. Like I said before, you, if you were wanting to tell somebody, you know, like you were seeing, oh my God, they're about to hit this guy's flank over here on my teammate's flank is about to get rolled up. Let me send him a message and tell him, dude, watch your left flank. It's about to get destroyed. Man, that's gone. You, all you can do now is watch it go bye-byes. Watch that flank go bye-bye. How pathetic is that? How pathetic is that? You can't communicate with your teammates. You can't do it. But greenies, commanders. You can't be a full commander anymore. If somebody drops in the battle, you don't even know. You have no idea. Before, it would say in the chat, Jimmy has dropped from the battle. Bob just dropped from the game or he quit or left. Now you get nothing. And then you're like, what's something's happening here? Cause why is he, is he running away? Why is he running away? Why is he leaving the flank? What's going on here? Hey, you know, I can't chat. What are you doing? You knucklehead. You're leaving me here to fight two people. You can't do that anymore. You can't message him and find out, oh, there's nobody there. Oh, crap, he dropped. That's why this is happening. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Unbelievable. It just doesn't make sense. He's so right. They removed the chat. It's crazy. Just doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense. I don't get it. I've built 206 friends. Actually, I got more than that because I have 180 more that previously played the game. So I had built up 386 friends. I'll add another 62 to that. So my total friends have about 400 friends on Steam. I've met all of them through Empire Total War. Current, old, new. Not, how am I going to meet new players now? Unless it's on YouTube. This is, this is not the way to... This is not the way to go. But that, like I said, there's a reason for this. Sometimes you have to break something to change it. And that's what we're seeing here. But why? What's the play? What's going on? Where's this headed? Are they going to start their own... Their own steam? Just for CA? Is that what's going to happen here? Most curious. I don't know. But there's there's more to this than meets the eye. And CA can come out and say we're conspiracy theorists. And, uh... Yeah, so I said... So we have no idea when someone drops. So... Uh, 
And Eno says, you can spot when someone drops cry easily. Yeah. But, like, I noticed that there was somebody that dropped. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have uh, said that if not. But in the moment while you're fighting, you're like, what's going on here? You know, that's a moment where you'd be like, look up at the chat. Oh, crap, he dropped. That's what's going on. This is stupid, guys. I don't get it. But like I said, there's more here than meets the eye. Sadly, we're dealing with a company that does not care about their customers. They don't care about communicating with their customers. They're still making money off these old games. They're still selling Empire Total War. They're still selling Napoleon. They do not care about their customer base. They do not care enough to earn our trust. So they definitely do not have my trust. Let's talk more about this. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I appreciate you guys as always. Let me know what you think.